traveling at this time would be a good investment of time and money. I got this in my fortune cookie the other day, so I went ahead and booked a trip to Japan. <laughs> I've actually been planning this trip for a few months now with my buddy Frank, and it's finally time to head out there. Now every trip is different, so this is just the camera gear that I'm bringing specifically for this trip. Like for example, the drone restrictions in Japan are pretty strict, so I'm doing myself a favor and just not bringing one. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. So this is the backpack I'll be using. This is the Peak Design 30 liter travel backpack. This is a limited edition one that I got from Japan on my last trip over there. This is a back access bag. So the only way you can get into it is through the back panel, which is good for travel because like I know I'm traveling to Japan, probably one of the safest places I could be traveling to, but like other places though, I wouldn't have to worry about people getting into my bag because the only way you can get into it is through the back panel. So I'd have to take the bag off to access the bag. It does have this small zippered pouch up here. And uh, I don't really keep much in there. I do have a, a gray card lens cloth, a pen in case I need to fill out any documents, a lens pen, clean my camera stuff. It's got another small zipper in here. I keep more lens cloths, allergy meds. You know, no, I don't really keep much in here. I might put a camera battery in there too, but not really using it for anything else. Now in the back of the bag, I added these uh, waist straps. It doesn't come with a 30 liter, but I, I believe it does come with a 45 liter. Don't don't quote me on that. But when this bag is filled, it gets really heavy and this helps relieve the stress off my shoulders. So I went ahead and added these. All right, on the straps, I'm using the PGY Tech Beetle Clips. I got one on each strap. I know Peak Design has their own camera clip. I have one right here. I used to use these, but the problem with this one though is that it's not really wide enough for a lot of my bags, my, my other bags at least. The PGY Tech is definitely wider and it's much easier to take on and off. Like this one, you have to unscrew both sides to loosen it. And, Put it on you gotta slip it on this way it's not even wide enough for this for its own bag <laughs> it's not thick enough you gotta loosen it but with the pgy tech one though you can just unclip it put it on the next bag put it in the other side if you need to and just put it back on and it's really easy to do there's nothing wrong with the peak design capture clip i actually prefer using the pgy tech clips all right moving to the front of the bag on the bottom here Tucked away, I have a rain cover. This doesn't come with the bag, I had to buy this separately, but this is great because it just, it tucks into itself and it's just so small. Let me go ahead and open this up real quick and then just throw it over the bag. And it works great. Now the bag itself, it's fine to use in the rain and stuff, but if you're in a more harsher environment, it's nice to have this to definitely protect the bag and everything inside of it. And on the top here, I keep this tool clipped onto the outside of the bag. This is from Three-Legged Thing. It has a hex tool and a flathead, and it's also a bottle opener too. I keep the clips to the outside so it's just quick to grab if I need it, and I don't have to shuffle through my bag. And on this side, I have the Peak Design Travel Tripod, and this, this is actually just the case, because <laughs> I'm actually using the tripod itself to film this top-down shot. I usually keep it here on the side, but toss that over there. And on this side, I have a carabiner clip attached to a packable tote from Peak Design, once again. This is nice because you just open it up in case I buy something. I need to throw something in the bag real quick and I won't have space in my backpack. And there you go. Now I have a tote I can throw stuff in if I'm doing some shopping. I always have this packable tote with me whenever I'm traveling. All right, now let's get into the good stuff inside the bag. Go ahead, open it up. All right, so I'm using the uh, medium camera cube in here. I have a small one also and a large. I don't really use the large one that much because it uses the whole bag. And I like to keep the top of the bag empty so I can throw some stuff in there. So I like using the medium sized camera cube. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, in this empty spot here is where I keep the A7S III. I'm filming with it right now, so it's empty. <laughs> I have the, uh, the Peak Design cuff. I don't really use the straps a lot, but in case I need to use something, this is what I'll use. I'll just small. <laughs> And over here is where I usually keep the 24 to 105. I'm using it again to film. It's wide enough at 24 and it gets really close at 105. It is only F4, but it's fine with the A7S 3 It does really well in low light. It has obstacle stabilization. It's, it's just a great all around video lens. Over here I have the uh, 90 millimeter macro lens. I actually haven't used it that much. Pretty nice and unscuffed, but I'm bringing it with me to Japan because there's a lot of miniatures and stuff over there that I love to try to take photos of and some videos too with the macro lens. So this is gonna be fun for me to use while I'm out there in Japan. Over here is probably my favorite lens. This is the 16 to 35 f 2.8. It's a big lens, it's a heavy lens, but if I could only travel with the one lens, this is the one I'm bringing. It's great for vlogging, especially at 16. You can go in at 35, not too punched in, but it still does a pretty good job at 35. And yeah, this is probably my favorite lens. It, probably most vloggers' favorite lens, honestly, 16 to 35. Now over here, I have the 24 1.4. It's a prime lens that's great in low light. And most of the time when I'm traveling, I only bring the 16 to 35, the 24 105, and the 24 1.4. 
because at nighttime, this thing is amazing. I know I'm shooting with A7S3, which is great in low light, but putting this at 1.4 at night, I can see it in the dark, basically. <laughs> but yeah, this is probably one of my favorite prime lenses that I have. Over here, I have the Polar Pro Peter McKinnon Variable ND. This is the 2 to 5 stop. It's great for shooting on outdoor, sunny, bright conditions. I use it on all my lenses. I have step up rings, so it fits on all of them. So <laughs> there's that. And then here, I have ND filters for my Pocket 3. I actually just got these. I haven't been out shooting with it yet, but it's nice to finally have ND filters for the Pocket 3 though. And then underneath that is the Nifty 50. This one is a Zeiss 55 1.8. It's a nice standard lens. When I want to go out and just shoot, I'll throw this on my camera and this is the only lens I'll use. It's great for everything. I guess that's why they call it the Nifty 50. Over here is my second camera that I bring with me. This is the A7R3. It's a little bit older, but I still like it. This is actually the first full frame camera that I got and it takes great photos. Like the A7S3 is great in video. It takes good photos, but with photos, I can't really tweak it too much because it's only a 12 megapixel camera. This one's a 42 megapixel camera and it's basically my backup camera. Like if I ever have problems with the A7S3, which I have had problems with that camera before, at least I'll have a backup camera that I can continue shooting with. And if I want to just take photos, this is the camera I'll be using. And tucked into the same pocket here is I keep the Insta360 ONE X2. I don't post things in 360, but I do like the ability to reframe the shot. And I think it works great as an action camera because you're capturing everything. I don't have to worry about pointing it at myself or pointing it out at something else. I can just do all that in post. So always have a 360 camera with me. Over here, I have the Fujifilm Instax printer. When I'm traveling, I like to make it a point to print at least a photo a day. It's like something fun to do. And this is what I've been using. I used to use the HP printer. And here it is, this is the HP printer. It's actually nice. It's actually smaller than the Instax. The photos print on the full sheet of the paper and then the Instax, you know how those come out looking. But the problem with this one is when I run out of paper, it's hard to find refills for it, especially when I'm traveling. At least with the Instax, I can pop into almost any store and find some printer paper in there. So I've switched to Instax. Nothing wrong with the HP. It's just much easier to get refills with the Instax. And right behind that, I have the Nightcore electric blower. This is great for uh, cleaning my cameras. It's really it gets, it really cleans it and has a little brush built into it, which is nice. But yeah, this is what I use to clean my camera. Nothing fancy. <laughs> and in the middle here, I have a little light. It's always nice to have something small in case I need it to look at my bag or if I need to light something up when I'm filming. So this one is from, what's this from? This is from Yulanzi. Over here is a Bluetooth remote from Sony for my cameras. This is great so I can control my cameras from far away. Then over here, I have the Sony ECM B1M shotgun microphone. I love using the Sony microphone because there's no wires. I don't have to worry about batteries and charging it. I just throw it right in the hot shoe and it works. Love this microphone. I use this all the time. And over here is a filter case from Mindshift. And right in the back here is those step up rings I was talking about earlier. These are from Breakthrough Photography so that I can use my filters on all my lenses. This one is a 62 to 82, which is good for like my micro lens here. This one is a 67 to 82, which is good for the 24. I actually have one on my 24 to 105 because that one's a 77 millimeter thread. So I just have a bunch of these. It's much cheaper than buying filters in every single size. Over here, I have a 10 ND stop filter in case I want to do some really long exposure photography. And I also have a circular polarizer, which honestly I haven't used much. I'm still trying to figure out how to use this thing, but I have one so I can mess with this while I'm over there in Japan. All right, let's get all that back in there and zip it up. Over here, I have a repurposed Crown Royal bag. <laughs> I keep the, uh, PGY Tech Mantis tripod in there. I love using this thing. It's a great tabletop tripod. It's great to hold while I'm filming. And sometimes I just keep it on the camera because it gives it a good balance when I'm shooting with it. I also have the uh, Insta360 selfie stick, which you kind of need when you're using a 360 camera. And the last thing in here is a small tripod, which has extendable legs on it. I use this when I'm setting the 360 camera down because it's so wide that it's just a super steady base. So yep, yeah, that's what I keep in my Crown Royal bag. Wish there was Crown Royal in there, but there's not. <laughs> and real quickly, right underneath the uh, camera cube, there's some pouches in the bag itself. On this side over here, I have a SD card holder. This one's from Small Rig. It holds three SD cards, two micros, and a SIM card, and even has a SIM card ejector tool. I think my phones now only use eSIM, so I might need to switch this out to something else, but for now, it works. <laughs> and in this pocket over here, I have a small micro USB-C memory stick. I mostly use this with the iPhone 15 Pro Max because it shoots in ProRes RAW, and it uses a lot of memory. So instead of using the internal memory, I'll record right onto this USB-C stick. On the other side here, some Sony batteries. I keep them in this think tank pouch so it's easier to get into. When they're fully charged, I keep them this way. And when they need to be charged, I'll just flip them around so it's easy for me to remember which one I need to charge or not. And I also have on this side a small Sony NP-BX1 battery. I'm actually shooting with the ZV-1 right now, but this is the batteries for the ZV-1. <laughs> and over here on this side, I don't want really to keep much in here. Just some small accessories, some bongo ties. I have a spare cold shoe cover in case I lose one. Gotta have an Apple AirTag in all my bags. And in the top pouch here, I keep some SSD drives. These are from Samsung. I just 
That's what I use. <laughs> oh, and I don't know how I forgot. Speaking of SSD drives, over here, this side, the back, on the back panel of the bag, this is where I keep my laptop. This is a 14 inch M1 MacBook Pro and I have this little pouch here so I can keep another hard drive in there. If I'm editing, I just throw it in there, plug it up and I don't have to worry about it dangling off the side or anything like that. But yep, M1 MacBook Pro, love this laptop. I wasn't an Apple guy before, I am now. I wish I switched sooner. <laughs> so this is a bag that I usually keep the overhead bin in the planes because I don't really need anything that's in this bag. But I do use this small camera cube that I like to keep near me, like usually at my feet. What's great about this bag is if I'm carrying a small camera setup around with me, I can take the medium camera cube out of the backpack, throw this in there, and I'll have a lot more space at the top to throw popcorn buckets. I don't know, something something else in there. <laughs> but when I'm traveling on the plane, all the stuff I need quick access to, keep it right here in a small pouch. So first off on the outside, I have this Peak Design leash attached so that I can actually carry this bag. And if I ever need a camera strap for any reason, I know I said I don't use camera straps, but I can just take this off, throw it onto my camera, and then have it as a neck strap. So I love having this strap for multiple uses. <laughs> right now on the inside of the bag, Nothing really crazy. Got cases for my glasses. Here's my action camera. This is the DJI Action 2. Yeah, this is a little bit older, but I just love the form factor of this thing. Like it's great as an action camera and you can make it so small. Like I wish DJI kept this design for their action cameras. I'm hoping they go back to it eventually because I love this camera. Like, come on DJI, just, just update this thing, please. I know I'm not the only one who likes this camera. I know I'm not, except for the fact that it overheats and it's only eight bit, but that's why you need to update it. <laughs> But yeah, this is still my favorite action camera to use. On the other side, I have the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This is my favorite camera. Like honestly, if I only bring in one camera, this is the one I'd bring. Like save my back, leave that behind and just use this thing. I'm gonna be filming a lot with this camera while I'm in Japan. Not sure why I'm bringing all this other camera gear. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, this is Pocket 3, love this camera. Then over here, I have the DJI wireless mic. This is great because I can use them on all my cameras. It comes with a lightning adapter, a USB-C adapter, and I can also use it with a 3.5 millimeter jack so I can plug it right into my cameras. But honestly, most of the time, I'm just using the internal recording on the transmitter and syncing it up to my footage later. So I can still get the audio out of my shotgun microphone, but if I'm speaking, I'll take the audio out of the transmitter and just sync it up to the footage. But yeah, I love these microphones and can't wait to update them with the, the Mic 2s when I can finally get my hands on those. Then over here, I have noise canceling headphones. These are the Sony WH-1000XM3 names suck but yeah these are great to use on the plane and i actually edit with these headphones too so love these headphones i keep a power bank in here this one's from anchor i use it to charge up my phones and it's also strong enough to charge my cameras too so that's that's it power bank <laughs> and finally i have this little accessory bag this one's from think tank keep cables in there plugs just small things i keep in here so i don't lose it in the bag but yeah this is everything i'm bringing with me to japan so if you see me out there you know say hi and please don't rob me <laughs> see you.